Have you built a fluid page? <laughs> That's a trick question. As I tell my students, there are no fluid pages, only fluid components. And I share why in our fluid courses. But anyway, pages built for fluid use a lot of group boxes. And there are a lot of different types of group boxes. Now we cover most of them in our fluid training courses, but I noticed something. Every people tools release brings new group box types. And I noticed something else. They aren't all new. What I mean is some of the new types are just shortcuts for features we've been using since 854, the first fluid release. Here's an example. On my screen, you see a pop-up menu. And in application designer, we can see that pop-up structure. Now this is a solution our students create in chapter four of our intermediate fluid course. And in that course, we teach our students two ways to build that menu structure. First, we teach the old fashioned way. And the reason we teach the old fashioned way is because it works since people tools 854. And our students are using a variety of different people tools releases. But there's a newer way today and I wanna compare the two. So first, looking at the structure, we have the outer group box, which is our container, which has an HTML tag of UL and uses a style class PS menu container. And inside that, we have our menu items, which are list items, group box type of layout only, and PS menu item. Again, this concept has worked since People Tools 8x4 and continues to work today. But there's a significant difference between the old way and the new way. Let me show them to you. So first, the HTML it generates. Let's do a quick inspect. And we see the UL with the corresponding list items. UL PS menu container, LI PS menu item. That's exactly what we told it to do in application designer. So let's take a screenshot so we can compare these. Okay, now back to application designer. Let's make a couple changes to use some of the newer group box types. So instead of container, we'll go with menu. And because we're using menu, we don't have to use the style class PS menu container. We also don't have to use the HTML tag. So what I'm saying is, the newer group box type is easier. And same thing here. We'll change it to menu item. And we're going to leave the other one alone. And what we'll see is that the two actually work together very well. Save, reload the page online. And let's inspect again. So first off, it's a UL as a class PS box dash menu container. And then we have our LIs PS box dash menu item versus our older style, which is just a style class PS menu item. Same appearance, same behavior, just slightly different style class. But there's one very significant difference between the old way and the new way. So let's bring up the old HTML for reference. And I want you to see UL class. UL role equals menu class. Oh, do you see that new attribute? The one that's added by the new group box type? Role equals menu. That's for assistive technology. It tells the assistive technology, this isn't just some list. It actually has a purpose. And the purpose is a menu. Very valuable. This is why we want to make sure we're using these newer group box types. And then we're learning the new people tools features. Role equals menu. Number one, it's faster, more effective. Number two, it's more effective for our users as well. Likewise down here, LI role equals presentation. That role attribute is very important for assistive technology. We don't have that in the older style. So what do you think of the new fluid group box types? Let us know in the comments. Now at JSM Pros, we have a whole library of people tools tips to share with you. Check it out at jsmpros.com slash all access to get access to all of our recorded courses, videos, activity guides, downloads, I mean everything. Be sure to check out our live events as well. We teach people tools topics like this every week. Or here's an idea. Do you have a group you'd like to train? Well, give us a call and let's get something scheduled. Now, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more content. And we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. <laughs>